while the rest of Newmarket is sound asleep, the horse racing world prepares for its day. At Dylan Cunha's yard, there are the usual preparations for the races ahead. But today, there's extra help from someone very special. Three times British champion jockey, Ocean Murphy. She was a little bit slow, she needs to go back again. But she was a lot better. Ocean is riding the two-year-old filly, Cerulean Summer, part of the Quest Thoroughbred Syndicate, before her debut at Chelmsford. Yes, I'm free. Yeah, so today's going to be quite a, quite a good one. Said, yeah, he's a little test of roll, like, yeah. Mm -hmm. I know where we stand. The test would be held at the Alba Hatchery, one of Newmarket's famous gallops. But the yard's riders and staff must leave quickly to arrive in time. If she gives it straight away, all well, that is, she's got to be able to get it to the end. To the end. Yeah. And yeah. she might just work in snatches. I'd right. like it to be show a little bit of greenness, but as soon as you ask, she finds and goes. Because right. when you come race time, you're going to find a few more lengths out of it. Um, and then again, after the workout's the most important, the recovery rate. You want to see what she looks like afterwards. She needs to, yeah, you know. Well. What, would you be look, what would you be looking for in that, John? There's an old gauge. If you go and park by the Bedford Lodge, by the time it takes you straight off and you walk to the Bedford Lodge, by the she time it should, be, right should be 100% chilled. Heart rate should be down, breathing should be normal. Right, is that's that the good, gauge at the Bedford? That's, that's, that's a good gauge. From just riding experience and a couple of the old boys, there, they'll tell you. The Bedford Lodge is your time. If you get, if you calm before the Bedford Lodge, you're okay. If you're still blowing or heaving a little bit by the time you go past there, then you know. A bit more work for you. A little bit or a little bit longer. Sometimes they can be quicker, they're not right. So there's something that means the recovery is taking a little right. bit longer.
Delighted with her. Uh, very easy to ride. She was super quiet going down. Uh, in the work, we rolled along without doing anything crazy. Uh, joined and she gave me a nice feel passing you guys. I stopped at the six and a half and pulled her up. She's fit and ready to go. I think on paper that race at Chelmsford is perfect and I'd hope she'll be very, running very well first time. She seems really straightforward and um, you know she is uh, not very big but she's big enough for she's next enough, year as well. Yeah. So um, yeah, that was great. So thanks very much for having oh, me, all right? Brilliant. Yeah, perfect. Thank you. Sound, guys? Thank you. No butter at all. Thank you. Mikey Varro and Japan. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I know. So Oshin's come and works really in summer, he's running on Thursday, um, pencil in for Thursday at Chelmsford. Um, it's whether or not he's going to be committed to ride at Salisbury on the same day or, or be able to free himself up to ride for us. But in terms of the work this morning, yeah, she worked with gold medal who's won two on the all weather. So we knew he was going to ask all the right questions for a juvenile to go and win first time out. Um, we're, Looking at it, I think we found exactly the right race for her to start her debut. I don't think she's going to be knocked around too much. I think seven furlongs is a good place to start with, especially there at Chelmsford. Um, yeah, Oshin gave some great feedback. He was very positive about the filly. He said she's calm, relaxed, straightforward filly to ride and um, feels like she's got a load of scope. So we're going to have a three-year-old to work with as well. So all in all, very, very happy this morning. Back at the yard there is still vital training to carry out. So we bring the babies um, to school through the starting stalls. We've got these starting stalls which are based here at our stables. Um, they just a basic set of starting stalls. We walk them around it um, often once a week, twice a week and then we walk them in and out the stalls just for them to get used to them in and out both ways so they see there's nothing to fear and then um, as they start getting used to them and behaving better we put them in and we, we hold the gates closed like this um, instead of closing them properly and then we bang them about and get them used to the noises and then um, we start off by just walking them out and then we trot them out and then when they're really comfortable we close the gates and then jump them um, at home we jump them and just pull up 20 yards away. Um, once I've done that we take them across to Warren Hill which you would have seen, um, not Warren Hill, uh, Burry Hill which is on the heath and they've got a set of stalls in the all weather which we jump them upside each other and then once they're used to that we put them in the big bank of stalls which is on the hill up the grass and um, we jump them out the stalls up the grass. Um, some of them go to the race course for a little uh, stalls test before the racing and some of them don't, it just depends on the horse. Very important that that happens. So they don't learn to run back here. Yeah, I'm going to yeah. go in the middle, okay, right? Yeah, just close it back right away, please, thanks. She's going to be a bit resistant. Yeah, I want anything new. Females. Anything new. Back to Bray, we'll do that again. Can we do the back just make 
make sure you shop at the back, okay? Yeah. She got it? Yeah. That's perfect. That'll, that'll work. We'll take her to race course site tomorrow. And tomorrow? We'll get her, yeah. Oh, race course site tomorrow and then we'll probably bounce her on Thursday with the two runners for next week. You're doing good. Good job. Yeah. That's perfect. So my name is Bray and I've been working for Dylan for about three months now. Um, I've known Dylan for a large chunk of my life. Um, I grew up with him in South Africa with his daughter. Um, and I'm just on the ground. Um, I've started riding out a little bit lately. Um, yeah, I just help out where I can. I help out with May and the traveling. I'm willing to do anything that's thrown at me. And you want to become a work rider? Yes, definitely. That is something I'm wanting to do. Or may have aspirations to go on and be a jockey or something you never know like I'll just take everything in my stride and see where I find my groove and what do you think of Newmarket working here it's different it's small compared to what I'm used to living down in Surrey but I've thoroughly enjoyed it it kind of started out as like a Dylan message me Bray do you want a job for two weeks and three months later I'm still here And I just and I just put it on. No, I don't trust this one. I'm gonna go put it on. Wow. I loaded three before then. Wow. Yeah. They, they heard yeah. animals they do their thing where to think that they try and yeah. get out under there sometimes it's, it's Yeah. <laughs> That's why it's very good that they've got those little flaps. Yeah. So that they don't see because they'll try sometimes they they'll try and follow the hands on the ground and try and go down. The scary part is when they see that and they think that's an exit. Yeah. Right. That could yeah. be a little bit dodgy as well. Yeah. Um, I seen one the other day on the on the telly, and I'm not joking yet. It, it, you're not recording, is he? Yeah. Me, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and it, tr it tried to uh, get out, and when I come back up, it, sp it spun round. It was facing the other way. They find the uh, problem with that is anything next door gets cut to pieces. Right. Yeah. The, in here, is, like I said, this is the most natural part of the horses. So good, easy, steady, you know, try and get a good experience every time. Mm -hmm. It's very important. Wouldn't you say, Amadeo? But a nice and well, quietly nice soft and quiet, so yeah. Never rush. Never rush in this. No. Yeah, in the store. So is this a horse that you're involved with? No, we're not involved with this one. We, uh, we're involved with Cerulean Summer. Uh, she's only two as well, but um, she's nearly, nearly race ready. She should be racing within the next two weeks. Wow, okay. Yeah, so I think she's going to make a debut with Chelmsford, I think. And you down to, have you seen her this week? Yes, we've seen her a couple of times this week. Yeah, yeah, we've seen her working this morning as well. Um, and I think she's going to do some more stalls work tomorrow and we'll be we'll be around for that as well. So, and how do you find the whole experience of coming down here and... and oh, brilliant, the yard? brilliant, we love it. Brilliant, we love it. Yeah, we, uh, we love it down here. It's excellent. Yeah, yeah it's a lovely place.
Maybe come stand in front here, okay, Ollie. Okay. Yeah, Ollie, come stand in front here. In front of the stool? Yeah. So she can just see you, she's got a companion because yes, you're well, lagging. We just gave her a little chase from behind and she went. Yeah, I'll just go stand in front of you, thanks. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, just stay, stay there, stay there. Yeah, thanks. Come here, Libby. There we go, there we go. There's your mate, there's your mate. Come on. Come on forward, come on. There's your mate, come on. <laughs> we'll just do the one today because um, we want to bring her back tomorrow and she did everything right she walked in she stood she came out you know we didn't bounce her because it was the first time she would have heard that loud noise um, so all of that was a win if we come, if we tried again, and she decided to look around a bit to play up, it would have been a different issue we created and something else to deal with. Um, that was a win. Walked in tomorrow, she'll come back again. She knows what's expected of her. She'll be able to walk in and stand um, with company, so she'll go a little bit straight and know what's going on. And then maybe we'll wait another week or two, and then we'll do some serious work with her and take her to the race course and she get a race course experience. So. I was happy with that. That's a win all day long. The week's biggest news was that Dylan Cunha Racing will take over Phantom House Stables, almost doubling their size. Phantom House is a iconic stable in Newmarket and uh, for Dylan to pick it up is, is amazing. Um, we already know briefly of what his plans are for here but um, you never know, it's, uh, it's going to be exciting. Maybe another driver, I'm not so busy. Having grown um, into the position where we can take a bigger yard has been a huge achievement for us in the last year, but then being able to take over Phantom House Stables, which is an amazing history, Triple Crown winning yard. Um, William Jarvis, who currently trains as one of two group ones in the many great winners. Um, so taking over the yard and the staff, um, unfortunately there's not a lot of horses to take over but um, it's great for us, we can grow now, we have the space to or double in size and also um, have a lovely place for our owner's horses to be kept. Um, it's honestly a lovely yard, horses do well in the yard, um, it's beautiful as you can see the cobble cobblestone walls behind me, um, it's just a magnificent place and it's just a privilege to be here. Did you see it? No, I heard oh, it. Oh no, it's been on camera before. 
It's oh, right. spun and spun and spun because his leg touched the bar and he went whoosh and he landed yeah. on his hip on the concrete. The eye. It's, well, he's, he's <laughs> toughened it out because when you've got people around you, you tough yeah, it yeah, out, yeah, don't of course, you? Yeah. yeah. But it'll hurt.